Did you know that AI isn't just making our lives more convenient, it's also shaking up the stock market in ways we've never seen before? Look at this chart from Bank of America. It tells you that we are currently seeing the greatest outperformance of tech versus the S&P 500 ever. Share prices of tech companies that benefited from 90s internet revolution provided 50,000 to 60,000 percent gains. Yeah, you heard that right. I'm not exaggerating. Check the historical stock returns provided by Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. Same's the case with the AI revolution. Early investors can make super returns on their investments. But one might argue that AI-related stocks are expensive. But keep in mind, these stocks always remain expensive on the basis of valuations because these companies are growing rapidly. Just imagine missing out on a 50,000% return back in the early 90s and 2000s because you were thinking this tech stock looked expensive by 20%. Now, what if I tell you that there's a simple strategy which you can use to buy these stocks cheaply and then earn handsome returns, just like me? I doubled my money in just four months with this stock using this strategy. Three months ago, we recommended to our viewers Super Microcomputer Inc. stock near $120 for handsome gains. But many of the viewers argued that it's already trading near its 52-week highs and the upside's limited. Well, you'd be surprised to know that it's now trading at 300 plus, up 200%. High price doesn't mean stock's expensive. People need to understand that good companies will continue to grow and their share prices will continue to rise. The only issue here is how to identify good companies. Having identified good companies, the next step is to buy and hold them until their business model continues to expand and grow. This is where our expertise comes in. We identify companies with superb track records and handsome future growth potential. Here are some of the examples. We recommended this stock near 400 and now it's at 500 plus. If you're interested in receiving timely buy-sell calls, well then join our private Discord server. Link's given down below in the description. You've probably heard the term buying the dip thrown around in the world of finance, but have you ever wondered how this strategy pairs up with the revolutionary power of AI? Well, stick around because we're about to uncover some exciting insights that could shape your investment journey. But before we delve deeper, let's tackle the age-old question. Why on earth would anyone want to buy the dip? Well, my friends, the answer lies in the roller coaster nature of stock prices. Even the mightiest stocks can take a temporary tumble due to a range of factors. Market sentiment, economic shifts, or even just a bad day in the news. And that's where our strategy comes in. Buying the dip lets you snag those stocks at a discount before they bounce back. The first stock on our list is none other than NVIDIA. It is a company so influential that it's earned the nickname the Godfather of AI. No wonder its stock has been making waves. Just recently, on August 21st, 2023, NVIDIA shares skyrocketed by a whopping 7%, leaving Wall Street buzzing with excitement. Why, you ask? Well, several Wall Street experts like HSBC's Frank Lee, KeyBank's John Vinn, and Wedbush Securities' Dan Ives are on board with the NVIDIA train, and they're not shy about it. Frank Lee, the analyst with a keen eye for potential, raised his price target for NVIDIA to $780 from $600. He's seeing something big on the horizon, pointing to earnings potential that hasn't been fully priced in yet for the second half of fiscal 2024 and fiscal 2025. John Vinn, another analyst in the NVIDIA fan club, bumped up his price target to $620. And here's the kicker. He's calling NVIDIA unmatched. Thanks to its CUDA software stack, this company has got a competitive edge that's hard to match. Vin also sees NVIDIA as perfectly positioned to ride the wave of AI and machine learning growth in the data center with limited competitive risks in sight. It's not just NVIDIA that's getting a boost from all this excitement. Semiconductor buddies like AMD, Qualcomm, and Marvell Technology are enjoying the bullish sentiment too. It's like one big party. So if you're thinking about diving into the AI-driven stock market, NVIDIA might just be the star player you're looking for. It's not every day that you witness a stock rally over 30% in just a short span of time. Well, that's exactly what happened to Tesla, the electric giant that's been reshaping the automotive landscape. 
Now let's rewind a bit. Tesla's stock has been soaring, and as we delve into the nuts and bolts, you'll understand why. Amid a challenging environment, Tesla is like the mighty oak that refuses to be swayed. Its revenue growth momentum is nothing short of impressive, with a stellar 130% increase. And while profitability metrics might be taking a hit due to inflation and discounts on vehicles, it's all part of a strategic chess move. Tesla's got its eyes on the prize, capturing a massive market share and paving the way for software services that ride the digital airwaves. But wait, there's more. Despite the headwinds, Tesla's balance sheet is a fortress. It managed to generate over $877 million of free cash flow in the quarter, even amidst uncertainty. That's a bullish sign that this company's got some serious financial muscle. Now let's talk innovation. Tesla's not just making cars, it's shaping the future. With projects like the Cybertruck, Tesla's poised to tap into the booming truck market, a segment known for its long-standing bestsellers. And remember those autonomous dreams? Tesla's full self-driving, or FSD beta, is clocking over 300 miles, inching ever closer to the holy grail of autonomous driving. Sure, Tesla's got its wild moments, and Elon Musk's tweets can send ripples through the stock price, but for the investor in it for the long haul, Tesla's the electric dream you don't want to miss out on. All right, let's shift our gaze to a tech titan that's synonymous with innovation. Alphabet Inc., better known as Google. Remember that buzz about generative AI chat platforms causing a stir in the market? Well, guess who shrugged off the competition and is accelerating growth? Google, that's who. Despite the chatter, and even the launch of Microsoft's Bing with ChatGPT, Google's Q2 revenues took a bold leap with a whopping 7% increase. And get this, search growth roared back to life with a 5% rebound. Now hold up, before you start thinking that this is a mere fluke, let's look at the numbers. The generative AI chat phenomena might have set the stage, but it's Google that's stealing the spotlight. Revenue growth remains unfazed, with generative AI chat platforms making as much impact as a feather in a storm. And speaking of storms, Google's got a plan to dominate the growing generative AI market, which is predicted to reach a staggering $1.3 trillion by 2032. It's not just talk, Google's well positioned to capitalize on this opportunity, with its AI-driven search at the forefront. But that's not all. While competitors juggle their AI dreams, Google's already in action. Its Search Generative Experience, or SGE, is set to level up the search game, promising a next-level search experience that'll keep us all hooked. So why should you care? Well, because Google's not just a search engine, it's a player in the AI-driven revolution. Its AI-optimized infrastructure is a breeding ground for innovation, and the potential? Mind-blowing. From AI supercomputers to cloud infrastructure, Google's got its fingers in all the AI pies. And the numbers? <laughs> well, buckle up. Despite some whispers of increasing infrastructure costs, Google's revenue growth is causing a stir. Analysts are boosting EPS targets, with consensus gap EPS estimates soaring to $6.58 for 2024. And guess what? The stock's trading at just $132. That's like finding a diamond in a haystack. Now, before you start worrying about expenses, remember that Google's got its balance sheet in order. Free cash flow? Ho oh, ho, it's rolling in, with $21.8 billion generated in just one quarter. And speaking of expenses, even though costs might be on the rise, Google's growth trajectory is sending EPS on a rocket ride. So here's the takeaway. Google's not just surviving, it's thriving in the age of AI. It's trading at a steal, with a price that's got value seekers dancing with joy. Now for stock number four, we saw Amazon's stock take a slight dip, about 7% after hitting a post-earnings high of around 144 bucks. Wondering why? Well, there's a rise in long-duration treasury yields that's playing a part, impacting the tech-led market rally. But hey, let's not let the numbers bring us down. Amazon's Q2 2023 earnings report was like a symphony of good news. Revenue and EPS, they waltzed right past expectations, with AWS showing stability and the retail business's profitability getting a sweet upgrade. 
Amazon's retail business, after some intense investment, is now savoring the fruits of its labor by becoming profitable. This isn't just about online shopping. Amazon's digital advertising business is shining too, with a 22% growth in Q2 of 2023. Hold on to your hats, because the fun doesn't stop there. AWS is still Amazon's ace in the hole, accounting for almost 70% of its total profits. And guess what? The whole cloud game is only getting started, with generative AI releases that are setting the stage for more success. Now let's address the elephant in the room, a potential near-term stock correction. But hey, any significant dip in Amazon should be like a siren call for investors. Why? Because Amazon stock is like a treasure hidden in plain sight, significantly undervalued. At around $135 per share, I'm giving you the green light. Go ahead and snap up some Amazon stock. And we all know that Apple's products are more than just gadgets. They're practically indispensable. Think about it. Warren Buffett himself says his iPhone is so valuable that he'd rather give up his private plane than his iPhone. That's saying something. Just think about this. Apple's installed base has grown by millions since 2019, crossing the 2 billion user mark this year. And brace yourself, around 250 million iPhones haven't been upgraded in the last four years. So when the iPhone 15 rolls around, there's a party waiting to happen. China and India? Well, Apple's got its eyes on them too. With its revenue growing rapidly in these regions, it's like a global expansion that's just starting to take off. China went from a measly 2.8 billion in 2010 to a whopping 72.95 billion in revenue from the region. And India? It's like deja vu all over again. Similar demographics, similar growth patterns. But wait, there's more. Apple's got new products in the pipeline, like the Vision Pro, and services that keep on growing. And let's not forget those iPhones, you know, the ones that Apple can tweak and still make us want. All in all, these analysts are confident that Apple can grow by more than 5% over the next five years. Now, let's talk about those interest rates. The earnings yield on Apple stock has slipped, while the yield on Treasury bonds has risen. But the numbers show that if Apple can keep growing its earnings by about 6.64%, it is a worthwhile investment compared to the yield on those bonds. And speaking of bonds, Apple's not just sitting on its cash. It's buying back shares and paying dividends. Plus, they're diversifying their supply chains and keeping an eye out for those macroeconomic storms. So, in conclusion, all of this makes Apple a strong AI stock. And with that, our video comes to an end. I'm sure you guys learned a lot from the video, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our future updates. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.